This is the uh, TCAP practice test for a grade 7 math section, question number 6. Uh, this question asks, which value of x makes this inequality true? So I love true statements. First thing I need to do is read what the actual statement says. It says x is, since it's next to the big N, greater than or equal to 1.6. So anything above 1.6 in or 1.6 itself could be part of the answer choice. Unfortunately, all my answer choices are all in fraction format, which may be a problem or it may not be, uh, especially if you have a calculator. This could get really, easily, uh, get really easy. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, look at 1.6 and see if I can figure out what to do with it. Now, if you don't have a calculator, you might want to know that 6.6 .6 is 6 tenths. So you write 1 and 6 tenths. And then you can just convert it into an improper fraction. You do 10 times 1 plus 6. So you get 16 over 10. Reduce that one to, because uh, 2 goes into 10 and 16, 8 over 5. So any number that's greater than or equal to 8, point 8 over 5 could be the answer. So F is a possible answer to number six. So we could be done. I should also mention that uh, if you're flying through it and you have a calculator, you might want to just type it in and flip it. If you have a TI-73, uh, what you're going to do is hit the FD button. And then you might have to hit the A, B, C, to D, E button to turn it into 8 over 5. So these would be the buttons you hit on the TI-73. If you've got, after you type in 1.6, by the way, if you have a TI-83, you type in 1.6, and then you want to hit the math button. And then, sorry, I'm trying to do it to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. And then you hit enter after you hit the, uh, you go, you press this button, the one that says change to fraction. Then you just hit enter and enter one more time and it should turn it into 8 over 5 for you like it's supposed to. And if you have a TI-84, you hit the alpha button, TI-84 plus anyway, I'm not sure if the 84 itself does it. You hit the alpha button and then y equals. And then that whole fraction menu pops up, and you should be able to convert it into fraction decimal using the choices that are available to you there. But, I mean, you could do it without doing any of that stuff just on paper. I just wanted to give you some options in case you're using a calculator and you didn't know. So, good luck.